Soup du jour, or soup of the day, is often a way for restaurants to use up ingredients that would otherwise expire or spoil. In the restaurant business, food not sold is called waste, and it cuts into your profits. So minimizing waste is a top priority for chefs. Now most waste occurs with refrigerated items in the walk-in. Things in the freezer and dry goods really don't go out of date that easily. A business savvy chef takes frequent inventory of their walk-in cooler and makes use of perishable items before they become waste. Soup is a great way to do this and there's unlimited ways you can make it with perishable items like meat, seafood, cheese, dairy, and vegetables. Now you can take the same approach when looking in your refrigerator. I cook a lot on the weekends, so on Sundays I like to go through my fridge and clean it out and take all the leftovers and make a big pot of soup and that's what we eat for lunch or sometimes dinner during the week. The ingredients and amounts will largely depend on what you have and I encourage you to experiment and try new things each time. All right, I've gone through my refrigerator and cleared out all the stuff I think I need to do something with and I'll walk you through briefly what that stuff is. So I've got some celery here, some green onions, some carrots, red onion, garlic, yellow onion. I've got some Swiss chard. I was going to make this healthy grain bowl that I never got around to. I've got a couple of tomatoes that I was using for sliced tomatoes on salads, a green bell pepper that's getting pretty old. As far as protein goes, I've got some chicken and I've got a little bit of chuck that was trimmed from when I was making burgers. I've got some bread that's, that's going to go bad soon. I'm going to stale this and put it into the soup. Some clarified butter that's been in there for a long time. I'm going to use this to saute my vegetables. Some tomato paste, some fresh marjoram, and then some chopped parsley. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all these items and dice them up. And then I'll be right back and we'll make the soup. And I'm going to walk through each phase of this soup. So first we've got our protein. I've got some bacon, a little bit of steak trim, and some chicken. You could do sausage, pork, really anything, ground beef, any, any kind of protein will work great here. So here's my mirepoix. I've got some yellow onion, green onion, carrots, celery, and green bell pepper. And next I've got some vegetables I'm going to add in after the aromatics. I've got chopped garlic, some diced tomatoes and some Swiss chard that's been chopped up. Here I have some cheese rinds and ham hocks. I always keep these in my freezer. As I grate cheese, I save the rinds for just this purpose. They go great in soup. The same thing with ham hocks. I usually keep like three or four in my freezer. And then I've got some canned beans, some canned tomatoes that I'm gonna add to the soup. First, I heat my fat. I'm using clarified butter and I brown my protein. Then I remove the protein and set that aside. My aromatic vegetables are the ones I'm gonna saute first, and they'll be sauteed a little bit longer. My standard mirepoix is onions, carrots, and celery. Other vegetables that work here are leeks, parsnips, shallots, bell peppers, fennel, green onion, garlic, and ginger. Garlic and ginger you wanna add a little bit afterwards because they cook faster than the rest. Now I add my mirepoix and cook until I have some browning. Now my next category I call other vegetables, and that's basically anything that cooks a little bit quicker you would want to add these after your aromatic. So these are things like spinach, chard, cabbage, kale, tomatoes, zucchini, squash, fresh green beans, and mushrooms. Be careful with some vegetables like asparagus, broccoli, and cauliflower because they have a strong flavor. Those types of vegetables don't work very well here. I think they work better as the main ingredient of a soup because they're so strong in flavor. Think about like a broccoli and cheese soup or cream of asparagus soup if you have a lot of these types of vegetables you want to get rid of. Also, I wouldn't put any kind of potatoes in here. You don't want to saute potatoes. If you're adding potatoes, those will go in later when you add your liquid. Now I add my other vegetables. And here is where I add any veggies that aren't cooked as long as the mirepoix. Now I add my liquid, which in this case is chicken stock, but you can also use water. And I will also add canned tomatoes or potatoes at this step if I'm using them. Now, I like to call this category flavor enhancers, and these are things that are going to help flavor the soup that go in when the liquid is added. Now, that's canned tomatoes, uh, ham hocks, cheese rinds, tomato paste, uh, dried chili peppers, soup bone, seafood shells, and then any kind of herb bouquets or sachets that you're going to put in and take out later. Now, my flavor enhancers. Here's my ham hocks, and here are my cheese rinds. After we simmer for about 45 minutes, now I'm going to add my canned beans and any cooked grains or bread. Again, it's up to you and what you have on hand. So here I've got some, some leftover bread that I've diced up and put in the oven at 175. I'm just trying to get all the moisture out of that. I want to stale this bread and dry it out. I don't want it to be super, super toasty, but I do want it to be dry. 
The dried bread will break up into soup and act as a thickener. You could also grind up some tortillas or crumble biscuits. There are two other categories of items you can put in the soup at this point. That's seafood and dairy. So seafood I have separated from land proteins because seafood cooks a lot faster. So you would want to put seafood in towards the end of the soup, about five or 10 minutes, depending on the type of seafood because it cooks relatively quickly. Also, you would want to add dairy towards the end. And that's things like adding some cream, some cream cheese, some milk, some grated cheese. Those things work really well added at the end. I just didn't have any, so I'm not putting them in my soup today, but they can absolutely go in. And then I've got my fresh herbs, and I really just kind of chop up whatever fresh herbs I can find. This is parsley and marjoram. I have a little bit of basil I think I'm going to chop in here as well, and I'm going to throw all this in at the, uh, at the end when I finish the soup. Don't forget to remove anything that needs to come out, like ham hocks, bones, cheese rinds, seafood shells, or spice bouquets. And here is our finished soup. That's a delicious lunch or dinner from items I was basically going to throw away. If you make the soup, please tag us at Lineage Culinary and let us know how it came out. We'd also love to hear from you to find out what types of topics or recipes you'd like us to cover in the future. My name is Chef Jeremy with Lineage Culinary. Thank you for watching.